till I come home from university. And my siblings will be at home because I'm the only girl. So I knew how to do plenty of work. The one that concerns me and the one that don't concern me, they will leave it for me. So you should learn to know that sometimes it's not the same. Your sibling may be a boy and you are a girl. You know what I'm talking about. So of course, there are more house chores for boys, for girls than boys. It doesn't mean that boys should become lazy, though, because the lazy boys will not eat. By the time you get to the university now, you are meant to be able to cook for yourself, feed yourself. When you go to the university, you didn't learn any house chores. You will not go with house help. All the boys looking at me, you won't go with house help. You'll go on your own. Man so you need to wash plate, clean plate, go there to cook by yourself. If you don't learn all those things, when you reach the university, you cannot wash your uniform. It's on, you are on your own. So you, anything a girl can do, you should learn to do it. Okay, let's go. Who else is it? <laughs> I'll make it fast, fast, so that I can accommodate plenty of questions. Right. My name is Nima Jumia. I think that when people ask us to accommodate, they don't cry on our face. There are some things that cause the children from the fact that it's where they are to just do something that's real. I understand that your question. See, let me tell you something. You, you see, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, please listen to me, when I was growing up, I used to have my father, he would put on the TV, he would be watching um, news, NTA news, and he would be sleeping throughout. And if you try to change the TV, you would wake up and say, leave it, I'm watching the news. Now, what am I trying to drive at? Back in those days, we used to think that what is wrong with daddy? Ah, what kind of behavior is this one? Like holy say, like a uh, witchy witchy something. But do you know that now the children have even taken over the remote? Most of all, we don't enter home. We'll be looking at that is the second time it's happening to us in my own generation. The first time was our father holding the remote. The second time now, our children, they are the one holding the remote. You, you are not watching TV. So you see this thing you are complaining about, you may end up doing it to your own child. So don't worry about it, it's like that. You are complaining now because you are the victim. Very soon now, you do one day, you just call. Hey, Bola! Bola! Come and give me the remote that is near me here. It's possible. That's how it is. So don't feel bad. Try to do it, it's important. It's now your turn. Very soon, it will be your turn again. Is that okay? Have you washed the clothes? I mean, the plate. I've washed my plate. 
What will she say then now? You will leave in front, you will leave your front. Because she sees that you are, you are done. There's nothing to say to you. Do you think she will now call you or call you different? No. Because you have done everything. What else does she need from you? So, any other question? You calm down. Sometimes. So, you know what? Please, pick somebody in the middle. Or pick two people in the front. Two people at the back. So that I can close. Two people from here, two people in the middle. In fact, four people in the middle to the back. So I'll see if I can accommodate the last. Sometimes German daddies go around. Like, for example, when you travel, like, for that one, like, as from now on, as long as the daddy is not around, and now the man of the house. One way, even if you don't, don't give me smoke, and I'll play. Now the man of the house, as long as you are. Well, you can leave that like that. Okay. If mommy doesn't mind him being the man of the house, leave him like that. But if mommy says he's not the man of the house, then he's not the man of the house. Let mommy decide who the man of the house is. Is that okay? Somebody else can. Ah, please tell me, hold on. He's the second, he's a boy. No, no. You are a boy. There was a girl there. You are a boy. Yeah, talk to you. It is not that my mommy was sending me a message. And she, she said I should buy green peas. Sweet corn, she put everything on my head. She tried to break it down. That's the first time I would go. As I step out, I just come back. I forgot what I wanted to buy. When I, when I enter inside, my mommy just said, What happened? I said, uh, Mommy, what do you say I should buy? She beat me. She said I should need them. When I come back, I'm continuing my punishment. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what. You see, like I told you. Who is this man? Who is this man? Like, like I said before, you see when you have a situation like that, you know that you cannot keep all the information at the same time. Then you write it down so that you know that if you are written it down, your mom will not be able to, you can't forget. It's because you didn't write it. It's not just sometimes that many. So if you know that you will forget today, write it somewhere. As she's talking to you, she mommy, wait, wait, let me write it down. Take a pen and buy one, write it. Yeah, you can buy one, write this thing. For your problem is that you are trying to put everything in your head. So by the time you wake up and you got so confused, but you can't remember how many things you want. Is that okay? So next time, be a smart person by writing those things down. Hmm? All right. Well, for me, if you if you see anyone that you two of you will meet at some point in your movement, God face demands you greet such a person. Greeting doesn't mean that the person is going to kidnap you. He didn't kidnap you. Yeah. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Anybody goes past there, whatever. It is not as if Good morning, they just capture you because you greeted the person. It doesn't work like that. It is when you greet somebody. Greeting is something that you are just moving on and greeting. It is not as if good morning, sir. You are now waiting for the person to be. No. Good morning, sir. Good morning. And we are moving. If you travel outside this country, you see sometimes you, you are somebody like, you don't know the person, just see the person where he smile and greet you. And you too, you just see that you wear a smile and greet the person. And we are all going. It's not as if they know you, you don't know them. You don't need to know the person before you do it. Quitting is something that you do consciously, you just do it. Because if you start picking, I want to greet A, I won't greet B. Before you know it, you will see B, you will not remember to greet because you were doing selective greeting. Is that okay? So let's greet. Get into the habit of greeting people. It's just something you need to do. Hmm? Any other question? Please. Okay. Right now, Ma, what of if you are in the old market, like now, your mom tells you to go and buy something, and your mom says that your dad is very hungry, then it should be very, very fast, and you are not rushing, 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 you are not keep, you are not, not very, very fast, you are not saying, and you forgot to do it, like you, like you start up your habit, but your mom says that it's too fast, and you are not forgot to do it, and, and 
just one and just one pasta. You order for all what you wanted to buy. You collected you forgot to be there and don't run away. My school party. Yeah, well, uh, you see the thing is that everything is part of your habit and you say. The same as if you are in a hurry, but you will still remember. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Ma, I want to buy this and this and this. It's just that the greeting at that point will not be those. Good afternoon. How is your father? How is your mother? Do you have that? Good afternoon, good afternoon. Mommy, please, mommy, don't be angry with me today. I'm in a hurry. I need to get things for my parents. They are waiting for me. Do you understand? So she can be faster. You can be faster and then. It's different from the day she goes to the mother and says, Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Hi, it's your mommy. My mommy is fine. Hi, it's your daddy. Ah, how are your brother? There's no time for that. But you still remember to be. Enjoy your this city is faster than the regular day. Is that okay? And that's all for you. Stop it. Take go now. Thank you. 